Well, since the Industrial Revolution, the, amount, the number of chemicals has been on the increase, not just the numbers of chemicals, but the quantity of chemicals released into the environment. And contrary to popular belief, we used to think that the placenta was a barrier for, for protecting unborn babies, but now we know not only adults, children, and uh, toddlers are exposed, but also unborn, ba unborn babies, because so much of the pollution we're currently exposed to is getting into our bodies through uh, the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, and even the, the sort of cosmetics we put on our skin. How is it affecting our brains more specifically? Um, the one uh, endocrine system that I'm particularly concerned about is thyroid hormone and how so many chemicals in the environment are interfering with the, this vital hormone without which none of us would have the complex brains that we have today. Thyroid hormone is, well, thyroid hormone is produced from the thyroid gland at the base of our, our necks. Um, it's often uh, referred to as the hormone you have to get just right. You don't need too much of it nor too little of it. It's got to be really the right amount at the right time. It's so important because it's it's the key factor that determines the way our brains are put together. Thyroid hormone is the only hormone that a baby is tested for at birth. There are a number of other biochemical tests done when a baby's born, but within the first four or five days of a baby being born in every developed country, they take a small prick of blood from its heel and test to ensure that it's got enough thyroid hormone. Because if it hasn't got enough, then you're going to have to supplement and give the, the baby thyroid hormone to ensure correct brain growth. Unfortunately, in the last few years, we've learned that it's not just after birth that the baby needs thyroid hormone to make its brain grow optimally. It's also during pregnancy.